With just a week ahead of Reconciliation Day, the racial divide in South Africa continues to weigh heavy on society. The community in Boxburg in Ekuleni is angry over a farmer allegedly shooting and killing a cattle herder. The farmer allegedly shot the herder in Dawn Park in Boxburg. According to community members, the deceased Tsukela Bisani was shot when his cows deviated to another farm. The reason behind the shooting and confrontation is yet to be heard. The farmer is out on bail. Community members are set to hand over a memorandum to the Dawn Park Police Station requesting the commander to re-arrest the farmer. They say the farmer should not have been released, claiming he poses a serious threat to society. Bisani was in front of me as we were taking the cows back into the correct route. That is when I saw a white man shouting and yelling at him. But I did not hear exactly what he was saying. When I went to investigate, that is when I found uh, Bisani on the ground. Then I asked the white farmer, why you killed him? The white man pointed a gun at me. And that is when I ran back into the plot. Police station at Don Park. Don Park Police are failing us. Our primary focus is to deal with the Don Park Police Station to reopen the case. They are failing us. Then we'll deal with that farmer once we have dealt with the police process. What we need to do is to hand over a memorandum to the station commander in Don Park. They gave him bail and we are not even sure if it is safe to have him in our community. According to Mr. Dumezweni, the white farmer was coming from that house over there and he could hear the farmer from the other side screaming and coming closer towards his colleague, Mr. Pisani, who is the deceased. Approaching them, he saw that there was an altercation going on and the next thing he knows, he saw Mr. Pisani falling towards his back. And that's when he came closer in a faster pace, asking the white farmer, why are you killing Mr. Pisani? And the farmer pointed a gun at him. And that is when Mr. Dumezweni ran for his life.